I came across this article and found it to be quite interesting, so I wanted to share it with all of you in case you were not aware of Ford bringing back the GT500 KR Mustang. This is coming back as a 60th anniversary car, and I will include the link to this article in the description down below, but I just wanted to read through it and make a few points uh, as I go through the article. Shelby American, the legendary outfit created by Carol Shelby, that's responsible for countless historic motorsports victories, talented drivers, and ultra-powerful street legal machines of all kinds, teased us last month saying it had something special in store for the month of December. Now that Christmas has come early because that something special is the new Ford Shelby GT 500KR Mustang, a truly monumentous car that also serves as a 60th anniversary tribute to the iconic company. And there are definitely some cues on this car that are different from the regular GT500. One of, one of them being that stands out a lot is the hood on this thing. I wish I had that hood on my 04 Terminator. That thing must pull some heat out quite a bit. Uh, the wheels are also different. I'm sure there may be... I'm not sure if the wing is the same as on the standard GT500 without looking. Uh, I'd have to go and look, but I didn't, but... The hood is really cool. That's a really neat looking hood. The Ford Shelby GT 500 KR Mustang or King of the Road. If those of you that may not have known it, it does stand for King of the Road. As is better known, will return to mark the special occasion as one of Shelby's most famous creations over the last six decades. However, it will be limited to just 60 units for the entire world, reserved for the 2020 to 22 model year. So most likely all those allocations are already gone. So if you're looking to get one of these, um, probably not going to happen. These have probably all been spoken for by this time. This is just the third time in history that the Mustang has worn the KR designation, joining the original 1968 and 2008-2009 models. And that's what I found really interesting about this article, was that they've only brought the KR Mustang to production three times, the original model year in 1968, and then the 2008-2009 model year, and this current model year for the 60th anniversary edition, which is pretty cool. The biggest upgrade present on the latest GT500 KR lies under the hood, where Ford's 5.2 liter Predator V8 has been treated to a Shelby Whipple 3.8 supercharger system High volume intercooler, heat exchanger, and open air intake, a Shelby by Borla Cabac exhaust system. Shelby says these upgrades are good enough to bring the horsepower from 760 to over 900, a significant increase of 140 ponies. That's quite a big jump from the standard GT500. 760 is nothing, you know, <laughs> it's not the low end of horsepower, that's for sure. But now it's going to come with 900 with these upgrades. That's that's impressive. 760 is a lot on any car. And the fact this has 900 pushing 1,000 is just insane. To get all that power to the ground, Shelby gave the GT500 KR a special magnetized suspension calibration, heavy-duty performance drive shafts, adjustable Shelby springs, Ford performance sway bar, and caster camera plates. The Fortified Snake rides on a set of one-piece Shelby 6061 T6 Forge aluminum wheels measuring 20 by 11 in the front and 20 by 11.5 in the rear, which are wrapped with performance spec tires. Those are some pretty meaty wheels with some big-ass tires you can put on it. In the looks department, the GT500 KR stands out thanks to its carbon fiber hood, front splitter, rear diffuser, and gurney flap. You can kind of see the rear diffuser here in this picture. Blow it up a little bit. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's not on the standard GT500 either. So including a wide body, painted stripes, and Le Mans style over the top stripes are also available. The cost for all of this goodness is 54995 which you think, you know, right off the bat, you're like, oh, that's not bad. But that's just included. <laughs> the upgrades that's not including the rest of the sentence which goes on to say for those that have a donor 2020 or 22 gt500 already or 
127895 including a 22 GT500 with an MSRP of 72900 So that's a pretty hefty price tag. Um, Fifty-four grand on top of what you've already paid for MSRP of seventy-two nine. If you got it for MSRP, and if you don't, you're looking at around one hundred twenty-seven thousand to go get a GT five hundred and have this conversion done on it. But for those that get this done, the few sixty people that were able to get this car, it's going to be pretty awesome. Maybe there'll be some videos that pop up in. If there's any other articles that pop up on the the new KR, I'll um, bring this on the channel as well so you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think of the GT500 KR or maybe you're one of the few 60 that were able to pre-order one. I personally pre-ordered three of them, so I can't wait to show every, everybody uh, when those come in. But, you know, that's obviously not true. I'd love to have one of these cars, but that's a little out of my price range for what I can... Uh, reasonably afford without living in a cardboard box but leave in the comments what you think of it i just wanted to bring you guys this article i thought it was pretty neat like i said before any other updates on the kr i'll bring it along the channel so you guys can check that out too thanks for watching